Hi, in this video I'll be showing my implementation of object rotation tracking with OpenCV. Over the summer I worked on a few projects for a professor at the Brown University School of Engineering, and one of these projects was tracking the rotation of a squash ball across individual frames of a video. When I was initially approaching the use case, I was considering training an object detection model using the rotation of the bounding box, but for this dataset specifically that wasn't entirely needed. Since the face of the ball facing the camera across frames was consistent, for the most part, and it was mostly just the rotation changing, I was eventually able to write a program to label the ball with a rotated bounding box to reflect its orientation using ORB, an algorithm for feature detection and images, brute force feature mapping, and OpenCV's minimum area rectangle. The program uses one or multiple template images, which are just images of the object it's trying to detect, and finds matches to the template, in this case the rotated squash ball in the frame. Using OpenCV's minimum area rectangle, the program identifies a bounding box and the rotation of the squash ball, incrementing the angle of rotation which is displayed in the top left corner of the screen. In this case, I used two template images, but I also tried implementing automatic template updating by using contour detection and background subtraction to isolate images of the ball. This method would have rotated the isolated image of the squash ball counterclockwise by the tracked angle, so it could identify total rotation in the subsequent image, and so on. However, this method would be harder to implement in busier images due to the inaccuracies in background subtraction based on contours, and it was already struggling in these frames during the collision of the ball with the edge. I eventually settled on using two images, one for before and after the collision, and that worked pretty well. So, a bit of a shorter video, but I wanted to share this because I wasn't able to find too many solutions online. I have linked the code in the description below, and as always, feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned since I have some pretty good video ideas in the works for the next few months.